You will? Yeah, I'm good, thanks to you. Okay, well, thank you. So, yeah. just gives a wee bit of an explanation how the first couple of weeks have been then for you as a Celtic player. Yeah, it's been brilliant. I can't complain with anything. I've come in and the boys have settled me in well and the, the gaffer's been good to me and training's been going well and been working hard, so I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some game time soon. Is it what you've expected? Is it tougher? Is it easier? How have you found it? It's a, I think everyone plays the Scottish League down as if like it's not a high standard, but it, I can tell them that now it definitely is. And players that have played here said you've got to go and try it out to realise how hard it is. And now I have trained and hopefully I can play soon. And I do realise that it is a tough league. Yeah. When you've assessed the squad now, you've been in a couple weeks. Where do you see yourself fitting in? Do you are you really you know up for contending for for first team the starting eleven every week? Is that what you're? you're yeah, for? that's that's what I've come for, and I think that's what Celtic have brought me in for. So you know. I don't think they, they want to bring anyone in to put them in the reserve, so I'm willing to work hard and challenge for me place in the team, yeah. You see as well how many games this team has with the Champions League qualifiers kicking in practically every week, so I suppose there will be plenty of opportunities over the course of the week you've been hoping to Yeah, to I'm, grab. I'm sure there'll be a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of games, you know, they were talking about there could be 70 competitive games this season, so there's no way that one eleven can play all them, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Why did you think Celtic was the right club for you? It's just such a big club, isn't it? And it's not something you can turn down easy. I mean, it's a massive club and with opportunities here to play, I didn't want to drop back down to reserves football after I'd made the step up. So I'm hoping I can make the step up again to here and hopefully impress at Celtic. You see that sometimes the perception of the Scottish League is, is false, especially from people down south. Do you feel you've made a step up here? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a, it's a massive club and you know, with the Champions League games coming up, you know, you, you don't get that at every club, do you? So I think it is, I think it's a step up for me and I'm looking forward to the challenge. What was that feeling like when you got the phone call to say that Celtic were interested? Yeah, it was unbelievable. It was it was only a few weeks before that I actually signed that I got the call and, you know, it's not something you can just ignore, is it, when a Champions League team want to sign you? So. Yeah, I spoke to my agent and we got things sorted and I made up that I could have signed for them. Did you have offers from, from elsewhere that you could have gone to, to other clubs in England? Or? Yeah, yeah, there was quite a few clubs to be honest, but um, I thought that this was the the club for me and to play in front of all them fans at such a big club, it's a dream come true. What do you feel that you can offer this Celtic squad? Well, I want to go on and make history, you know, we're very close to making it now and hopefully I can crack on get a few good first team games in and be part of making the history. For those that have maybe not seen you in action, what can the Celtic fans expect from you? What type of player are you? Um, I like to central midfield, I like to get the ball and pass, play and but if the game gets tough then you know you've got to work hard and get stuck in and I'm willing to do that as well. That's a pretty congested area of the squad. Um, you've got some big names to, to get by but you're quite a, a naturally confident guy when you get out there that you'll be up. Yeah, yeah, there's there's plenty of players and every single one of them are good but as I said before you know not one eleven can play 70 competitive games so there will be chances and it, then it's down to me to take it. What's the manager's message been to you on that? Has he told you you'll need to be patient or has he said to you, you know get stuck getting the jerseys there if you earn it? Yeah well if yeah I think I think that's the message if there's a shirt there if, if you're in and you work hard and train well then You've got to get your chance, haven't you? And then once you get your chance, it's down to do it in front of all them fans, and that's how you deal with the pressure. But I'm looking forward to it. The manager was obviously at Bolton um, a couple of years ago. How did you have much dealings with him at the time? Then no, I was too young to be honest, and there was separate training ground, so uh, this is the first time I've met him, kind of thing. Yeah. You wonder whether he maybe had he caught a glimpse of you when he was there, and you would have obviously known who was coming through the. The, the academy. Yeah, it would have been young. I think that was about four or five years ago now, so I would have only been, you know, 13 maybe, so 12, 13, so he would have been looking quite a lot down the line to be seeing that, wouldn't he? <laughs> was he a big factor in this move? Um, yeah, you know, I've, I've, I've played with players and I've spoke to players that have been with him before and he said he's a good gaffer, so I'm looking forward to working under him and I can see that he's good after his training with him and being around them, so yeah. Is the prospect of potentially playing tomorrow at Celtic Park an exciting one for you? Yeah, I mean, if I can, hopefully, if I can get on, get some game time tomorrow, that's unbelievable, and to make your debut at Celtic Park, that's 
unbelievable and my mum and dad will be there so that's even better. You're a Ireland under 19 internationally, would they need a factoring coming here at all? Um, well, yeah, I suppose I've, when I was away with the Ireland senior team, they'd said that Damien Duff's a good fella and he's a good coach and obviously a good, he was a good player back in the day. So, yeah, you, you can't ask so much more to learn off, can you? He's unbelievable and he's won the Premier League, so very good. I know you get called into the, the Ireland squad, didn't get capped, but are you hoping that this move can also help your international ambitions as well? Yeah, you know, the, the connection at Celtic and Ireland have got, I'm sure, they won't just turn an eye now I've moved to Celtic, so hopefully if I can get some game time and impress, then hopefully I can make my debut for Ireland, yeah. You mentioned your mum and dad, what you're focusing on with this move, were they excited? Music? Yeah, they were made up, to be honest. They, my mum was crying, you know, getting rid of me, but that's because I'm her baby, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Was this the first time you've had to move away from? Yeah, from yeah, I was still living at home at Bolton, so this is the first time I've ever lived a, away, and when she comes up for the few days, she's still crying when she <laughs> says goodbye to me, so... Is that but always a step up as well for you to, to take that step yourself? I mean, it's such a young age to, to make that venture. Yeah, but I think I think to be successful in this sport, you've got to you've got to just do things that you don't naturally want to do. But I'm not too bothered. It's just something that's got to be done, and I'll get over it. Would you do a crash course at home cooking? Oh, don't! <laughs> I'm dreading it already. I've, I've just got my new play, so I'm gonna get the pans out and try and have a practice anyway. So. <laughs>